Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the simple warp plugin for Pocketmine. This is a simple plugin that will allow you to create warps and teleport to them. This plugin is for the Bedrock version, however please ensure that you're running the Pocketmine server type. Head over to the link in the description, which will open this page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Then right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can download it straight to our server pro panel. Find your way into the plugins folder on the panel. Press the upload file button over here and then upload from web right here. Paste the link you just copied and then press the upload button. The plugin should download automatically for you. And now all you have to do is restart your server and you're ready to go. Once you're in game, to create a warp, just type in slash add warp and then a warp name. I'm going to create a couple here. If you want to check the list of warps that are available, type in slash list warps and then you'll see a list of warps that are available. To teleport to warps themselves, type in slash warp and then the warp name. It's pretty simple. You cannot move whilst warping, otherwise the teleport will cancel as you can see. You can also see that there's a waiting time before I actually teleport. This can be changed in the config or disabled completely. And finally, if you want to delete a warp, just type in slash del warp and then the warp you want to delete. If you want to know more about the commands and permissions for this plugin, Head over to the plugin page, which will be linked in the description. Let me quickly show you the config. Go to files, then plugin data, and then find the simple warp plugin. The main config.yml has everything you'd need to change. You can change if you want to have the exact coordinates or the coordinates being rounded up. You can change the storage system here. Near the bottom is the option to have the plugin compatible with essentials. If you don't have essentials, you don't need to worry about this. And here are the options for the delay time before you actually teleport. If we save this and go into lang.yml, here you can change all the messages that this plugin has to offer. So if you want a different language, you can add it right here. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.